Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. Now I was recently first in the world in Power League solos. Now obviously you guys can say skill is a big factor, but there's a lot of strategies, a lot of IQ that goes into drafting, that goes into your play style, how you play, how you lane, how you do everything. And I want to teach you guys how to do that so you guys can climb. I'm currently on my mini right now. I'm gold too, which I suspect is where most of you guys are. So I'm going to show you guys some of my strategies to move forward and try and gain as much as you guys can in Power League. So that being said, let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what's up. Now, of course, we're doing this all live. So everything I have is not going to be pre-planned. Now, we have the first pick here on Minecart Madness. This is really good because the first pick matters a lot. So when you're the first pick, first off, you want to grab the overpowered brawler. So if you have first pick and stew is available, 100,000% take stew unless you have a level one or level two stew or something like that it is by far the best brawler our team leader is going to go ahead and ban mr p mr p is one of those brawlers that you definitely want to take first overall if stew isn't banned now i have the first pick stew isn't banned so we're just going to go ahead and find stew where is stew power level okay i have a level one stew i think so or actually i don't even have stew on this account so i'm just going to pick a really first safe pick brawler and go with sandy now if i was on my actual account i would definitely be going with Stu, but sandy is a really safe first pick some safe first first picks are roughs sandy mr p Stu, amber byron those comps those are those brawlers sorry work well with a lot of different comps don't get countered by a lot of things so i would highly recommend taking those brawlers if i were to recommend three i would say take amber take sandy and take mr p doesn't get countered by anything literally any of those brawlers i would really highly recommend it so we're going to be going into a game here and let me show you guys exactly what you want to do so you're going to identify your matchup and what you're going good against what you know maybe you're not so good up against and definitely stay away from that so we're a sandy we don't really have that much of a difficulty with the comp that we're going to be going up against so we're just going to let that stew have the side that it wants and it's more uncomfortable on now against throwers we're going to have a little bit of a tougher time because we don't have the range but eventually we're going to be able to get close enough and get those kills. So as you guys can see, we can pick up one kill right there. I did nothing special, no out skill or anything, just kind of walking around doing my thing. And then you just want to kind of play with your team. So you guys can see, I don't try and 1v3. I don't try and do anything crazy. I just try and play with my team, help them out. Because it's not whoever can carry the most, even though sometimes it does feel that way. It's whoever can work the best as a team. And unfortunately, that is what we have to realize. So we're doing a really good job working with the team. I'm not trying to go into their spawn and do anything crazy. Just trying to work, you know, do my part, let my team do their part and keep moving. It's 8 nothing right now, so this game is looking really good. Honestly, this is going to be a pretty easy win. So what I think we're going to do is hop into the next game. And we're going to show you guys what's up in the next game. Some more drafting strategies on different maps, etc. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what's up. Okay, so going into the next game, we're going to have the second pick, which is actually a pretty good pick. Now, what they did wrong in the last game was they went double thrower. If you have one thrower, I wouldn't recommend going a second one. If you have one tank, I wouldn't recommend going a second one because you can just get hard countered. A lot of this is about who can counter who, who can play better against who, who can outsmart the other. So we're going to be going up in, in parallel plays, hot zone. What I like for this map is mid control is really important. So Mr. P, Amber, Sandy, Max, anything like that. Looks like my teammate's going to first pick Tick, which I'm not a huge fan of, but... I guess it happens. Um, I want to pick a max brawler. Not all of my brawlers on this account are max. Since mid control is the most important, I'm just going to go with Jesse so I can try and control the mid. Now, if you're playing gem and you want to, if you think you're the best player on the on the team, go the gem carrier. If you think if you're playing brawl ball, you think you're the best, go the goal scorer. Go the carries, but still work well within the team. I don't really know what our team comp is. It's pretty bad, but we're going to have to play with matchups. So we're going to try and put the Colt on the Rosa. Hopefully the Colt will listen. The Tick beats Barley and I can beat Sandy. So hopefully that's the matchups that we can go with. Again, matchups are very important. Um, so let's see what happens. Shooting to left for the Tick. Going to tell him to go right. There we go. Everyone's listening. So it looks like we have everything kind of under control. It looks like the Rosa is going to be on the left side. So we're just going to have to pinch with the Tick. That shouldn't be too much of a problem to take her out. Probably shouldn't have auto in there. Okay, we still have pretty good position here. The Colt doesn't feel like pinching, but that's fine because we're able to get the kill anyways. I guess I'm stuck playing defense now for the time being, which is fine on this map because it usually gets to about 50-50 before the game becomes intense. 
the Rosa comes back. I'm just going to slow it down. That's going to be a really easy kill for me. And they're not going to be able to take the zone whatsoever. Jesse is a very, very strong pick here. So now we're going to have to attack. We're going to have to get some damage. Or not damage. I guess some percent on offense. So again, we're just going to work through the middle here. Our job is still defense. So if anyone comes to our zone, we have to be really careful. And we're going to be the ones that have to defend it. We're going to go down, unfortunately. I thought that Sandy was moving up. We still have a turret on defense to help this take out. But again, this is our job. So we're going to move back over here. All right. Very interesting decision over there by that Sandy. But we're able to get a team wipe. We're able to hold position now. So this is something that's really good. Going to just throw my turret down over here. Just to cause a little bit of, uh, of a ruckus, I guess. Cause some distraction. They're going to try attacking, but once we have good position, it's really easy to hold on. Going to try staying in the zone as best as possible. Going to throw my turret out, get that stun. We're going to be able to hit a really easy shot there. And now the Barley is going to try getting us, but I don't think it's going to have any success. I think the only Brawler that can get us out of the zone would be Sandy. Wasn't really paying attention, so we're going to go down over there, but still pretty good start for us. We only need to get 10 more seconds in the zone, which should be fairly easy. I still have one more gadget, but we're able to get the kills anyways. We're going to stand in the zone. We're going to take a really easy W in game one. So we're going to hop into game two, show you guys game two at 99%. Please stand in there, Cole. And hopefully we can change up our strategies a little bit and kind of stick with what worked. So I'm going to go on defense. Hopefully Cole and Tick get offense. And let's see what happens when we go into it. So I'm going to shoot up. Hopefully the Tick listens. Perfect, it does. Hopefully they don't think I'm shooting at it. We're going to move forward over here and we're going to grab the defense. They're going to switch it up, which is a really good play. If you guys lose the first game, don't be afraid to change things up, change up your strategies. Because it really does help out a lot. So we're just going to be defending here. This is our job. Very boring job for the first 50 seconds. So let's just skip over to the fun part. Okay, so we've taken this zone now. It looks like we're getting rushed by a Sandy. So we got to defend. Going to let it get to max HP. We're going to heal up as well, hit one more shot, and then throw a turret on it. There's no rush since we are winning. And before I... Okay, I don't mean it. I mean he. We're going to throw it on the Sandy, not it. I know you guys hate when I call brawlers it. Um, but yeah, going pretty well so far. We have a pretty decent lead. Again, we're in charge of the defense, so we can't go too aggro here. Going to try and get the stun on the Sandy, but it's not going to go anywhere in range. I'm going to throw this down right here. Going to be able to take out the Rosa. And we're going to try and move forward. So it's a 3v2 right now. So this is our chance to move forward. We only have one gadget left. We're going to throw this right over here. Try and get this Rosa down, which should be really easy since it's just standing in my turret, not doing anything. And it looks like their team has given up. So this happens a lot in Power League. Not really the rarest thing in the world. We're going to be able to take this W pretty easily. So we're going to hop into our final match. Hopefully we get another new mode. And hopefully we get the last draft pick. So I can teach you guys what to do when you have the last pick. But let's hop into it. And let's show you guys what's happening. Okay, so going into our last draft. We're going to have the middle pick again. It's going to be Sneaky Fields. So let's see what happens here. Again, it looks like we're going to have a first pick tick. I don't know if this is the same tick from last time. It actually might be. Um, but we're going to see what happens. Waiting for them to ban. Six seconds left. Sometimes the waiting process is a little bit brutal. Um, so they're going to take Nita first pick. Not a terrible first pick. It looks like Warrior, we are going to go with Tara. If that's what the Tara ends up taking. So Tara is kind of a tank counter. So I don't need to worry that much about tanks. Maybe a little bit more about mid control. It's deciding between Tara and Mr. P. I'd go Mr. P. I'm fine going Mr. P. Mr. P is a great brawler to take. That player is going to take Tara. We're going to take Mr. P. So now we have a tank counter. And we as well have just a really good mid control brawler. Mr. P can be mid. Mr. P can be lane. It can do a lot of things. If we take M's, that's not a terrible pick. They're going to go the lanes and I'm going to go in the mid. We get a dynamite. Now this does happen sometimes. This is when we have to try in 3v2 basically. The dynamite could be good. Could pop off. Likely that it won't. So this is kind of where we have to try our best and not really work too much with the team. Maybe a little bit with the Tara. But we're going to be mid. We're going to try and win mid really fast. Let's see what happens. There's only so much we can do as a Tara or as a Mr. P. Luckily, they had a kind of AFK Nita for a little bit over there. We're able to get some really fast hits on the team. 
Trying to figure out where their max is. There we go. We're able to find it. Max is going to go for the Dyna. We're going to keep the Dyna alive. Get some shots off on the Nita. Our Tara is doing a really good job. It probably could have scored that, to be honest. It's a little bit unfortunate that it doesn't. I guess our Dynamite is going to go for a wall break. Not a terrible idea. It looks like they're going to score, though. So not the greatest start for us. We've been doing pretty good, but, you know, that's the issues when you have a Dyna on your team. So we're going to have to try and go for something special. Probably going to try and go for getting our super and supering the ball in the net. Let's see if we can do it here. There we go. We're able to do it. So again, just making plays like that where you're kind of working on your own is what you have to do. I'm probably going to try and just do that again. Get a few more shots. Katara can go for the solo pull. It's going to do so. We're going to be able to get the kill. And it's going to end up working out. Again, Tara is a really good pick because it's really game changing. Maybe not as a first pick, but maybe as a second or third. I really would think Tara is not a bad pick, especially in Brawl Ball. So we're able to kind of solo that game with a little bit of help from the Tara. Hopefully we can do the same thing here. It'll be a little bit more challenging since we won't have the wall break though. Tara should be able to help me out with the defense. Going to be able to get that kill over there. Going to be able to get that kill. I don't know why it's telling me how to play Brawl Ball as if I'm not a gold player and have 8k trophies, but whatever, I suppose. We're going to move the ball up over here. Dyna's doing a semi-decent job. At least he's alive. So that's pretty good. Kind of waiting on a Tara Super. Tara's going to be able to get it. Oh, I did not know there's a Poco in there. So we're going to go down to the Poco. We kind of threw that position over there. Really good pull by that Tara, actually. It's probably pretty close to having its Super back. Or she is probably not it. She is probably really close to having it super back. She's able to get it. Hopefully Dyna breaks wall soon. Tara's going to go for the solo pull. Waiting for the wall break here. Dyna's going to break that right wall. We're just going to walk that ball in because Anita wasn't moving. Don't know why. And again, we're going to go for that shot play. Going to try and just walk up when everyone takes lane and go for a shot. Max is going to try for a dribble. I guess he's been watching some pro player montages. The Nita and the Poco are probably going to pop out somewhere. There's the Nita. We're going to just try running around here. The pull's going to work. We're going to be able to get a couple kills. Max is going to move up the left. Oh! You guys didn't see that. You guys didn't see that. I swear. You guys did not see that. Good thing this is at the end of the video where less people watch. Hopefully there's no comments. We're not going to talk about that. Uh, we're going to be able to get a kill right there. Tara needs to score. Come on, Tara. You can do it. It gets its pull. It's going to auto-aim the pull. Maybe we score, maybe we don't. I can't tell. Um, but it looks like we're not going to. I'm going to get the ball here. Really bad position for me, so I'm just going to throw it away. 30 seconds left. I'm going to put my porter down instead of try and score. Unless they score here. Please don't score. Please shoot it. Please throw and shoot it. Okay, it's not going to throw and shoot it. So, so this is 1-1 one, one instead of 1-0. I'm going to put the porter down. Try and play this a little bit slower. Okay, as I say slower, they get back speed and just run up. We have Tara pull. That's really going to be needed to win here. Tara just clear the ball. Really good job by this Tara. Usually you get at least one decent random. I'm sorry, Yeet, if you're watching this video, but I'm not a fan. Be able to pick up that kill on Nita. Now we're going to save our super shot in overtime since super shot is really crucial. Tara uses the pull, so we don't need our super to get out of this position. Going to be able to pick up the kill. Tara, please pass the ball. Tara, please pass the ball. I'm begging Tara. That was a little bit late. Gonna go for a shot. And it's gonna go on the line. No. Why couldn't the Tara just pass it earlier? I don't understand. We go for a save. Oh, we stopped it. Tara, yes. Okay, so they... No, Tara. Oh, this game is so confusing. Dynamite with the save. Dynamite's gonna clear it. Gonna be able to make that save over there. Get that kill as well. So it looks like this is going to be a win, unless I mess this up somehow. We're going to put the ball in the net, though, and that is going to be game. So that was kind of crazy, but we're going to be able to get the wins. I hope you guys learned a little bit about late picks, early picks, what not to pick, how to counter, how not to counter. But this is some gameplay right here. This is how I hit first in the world in Power League. So if you guys want to apply some of these strategies i'm sure you guys will be able to gain fairly easily but anyways it's gonna be it for today i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did you guys already know leave a thumbs up but i will see you guys again soon peace